This is the third video in our low poly series. Last time we'd added the trees to our landscape and this time we're going to have a go at adding some clouds. Now to begin with, it's a very simple and quite a short video this, we're going to do Shift A and we're going to add in an icosphere. I'm going to zoom back a little bit because that's obviously a little bit larger at the moment. Now I could duplicate it but I tend to find the link together so I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to go Shift A and I'm going to add in a second icosphere and you'll find that probably appears on top of the first one. So if I press on G, I should be able to move it across. I'm going to do the same again, Shift A. I'm going to add in a third icosphere. And again, if I hold on the G or press on the G button, I should be able to move that across. So I've now got three and I want to make them into one set of clouds. So I'm going to select this one on the left by right clicking. I'm going to press on S and I'm going to scale it down so it's a bit smaller. I'm going to use G. I'm going to merge it into the side of my cloud here or my main sphere that's going to be the main part of my cloud. I'm going to right click on the one here and I'm going to press S again. I'm going to scale that down. And again, I'm going to press on G and I'm going to merge that to the side of the cloud here. Obviously, if I want, I can swing around and see where they are and move them forwards and backwards and adjust it so it's the size I want. Now I'm going to hold on Shift and right click on all three of these. And then I'm going to use Control and J to join them together. So I can now start to move them as a single object. So again, if I press on G now, I should be able to move this around as a single cloud. Now I've done that, I'm going to go into the modifiers. I'm going to add a modifier. And the modifier I'm going to add is to decimate it. And I'm going to change the ratio from either 1 to 0.3. You can see it gets very angular. Or to change it to... Uh, 0.4, which I'd like a little bit more, but you can play around with this and make it what you want. 0.5, okay, different angle formations. Then we go to properties. I'm going to add a new surface material, which I'm going to call white. I'm going to set the diffuse on this uh, to a nice bright white. And I'm going to take the specular intensity down to nothing to make it kind of have that uh, low resolution effect. And then I can use G again to move my clouds around, or S to shrink the whole cloud down if I want a smaller cloud. And now, obviously, just move it over my model into a position that I'm happy with. Now, if I want, obviously, a simple one now too would be to do Shift D, which allows me to duplicate, and I can have lots of different clouds added in, or I could go and produce another one so they're not exactly identical, so these ones aren't quite the same those two are duplicates and these two are duplicates okay so I should now have a landform a whole selection of different trees and some clouds in our low poly landscape and then I'm going to save it again 